to ignore the trivial things of the world, what's going on on Love Island and Coronation Street and TV shows. That's not important. What's important is what God is doing in this world and what God is, is speaking to us through his word. So we have to absorb his word and feed on it as much as you can, take in it, read chapters at a time, do whatever you can to let this word soak in and think about it, meditate upon it. And I don't mean meditate as in going, mm. that's not meditation. But to um, 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 meditate is to chew on like a cow, chews the grass many, many times, and, and that's what produces our milk. The milk doesn't come from Morrison's or Sainsbury's or Tesco. It comes from cows. We, we are to chew upon God's word. In yes. was told, Joshua was told to be courageous and of good courage, to meditate on the word of God and to chew on it and to feed upon it and let it not depart from your mouth. Not just your head, and not just your heart, but your mouth. Let it come out from the abundance of the heart and mouth speaks, God says. So we have to chew on it and speak it so that people will come to us and recognise that God's spirit in us, that we have an excellent spirit. Daniel is told many times that he has an excellent spirit. And if we feed on God's word and we take, take it in and soak it in, we can be that light and salt that people recognise. People will see that we have an excellent spirit because that excellent spirit is the Holy Spirit of God. It's the spirit of Christ. Just read the word and pray. Ask God for wisdom and understanding of the word as you read it and, and keep on feeding upon it. Let it feed you. Let it read you and walk in the spirit. Don't walk in the flesh. Don't go chasing after the things of this world and of this life, but chase after eternal life, which is in Jesus Christ.